Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. is an actor. He's got a new show called Stargate Universe, which airs Fridays on the Sci-Fi. That's what they call it now, the Sci-Fi, not Sci-Fi Channel. They, they never even heard of the Sci-Fi Channel. It's now called Sci-Fi. <laughs> Take a look at this. Did you do that, Rush? Is that what you think? No. No, I didn't. But I have been standing here for the past few minutes, watching systems fail all over the ship. And there's nothing that I could do to stop that. The FTL drive was amongst the last to go. There's got to be emergency reserves. I don't think you seem to understand what's going on here, Colonel. Our reserves are gone. All of our power is gone. It's like us right here. It's exactly like this show. Please welcome Robert Carlyle, everybody. Robert Carlyle. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need cards to talk to people. That's what I say. Okay. How are you, Robert? I'm very well, thank you, Craig. Long you are, time no see. I haven't seen you since the Tron Theatre in Glasgow, indeed, in Scotland. Indeed, indeed. When was 20 years ago, at least. 20 years, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've, yeah. Uh, you look exactly the same. I, however, <laughs> have fallen apart. <laughs> Because you were there, uh, if I remember rightly, we were in that theatre and you were with uh, Jimmy Chisholm. I did. Do, you, do you still see Jimmy? I haven't seen Jimmy for years and years. No, but, uh, I... my, my outstanding memory of that time was Craig was doing a pantomime. Christmas season. Christmas show, yeah. Christmas show. With uh, Jimmy Chisholm, who was playing Rupert the Rascal. Rupert the Rascal, yeah, the <laughs> flamboyant gay prince of... <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> It's pretty much what we do here every night. It's I was just, just about to say that. It's really. kind of the same thing. It's, it's same kind thing. of a, it's what thing. we call pantomime. Yeah. Are you uh, are you enjoying the uh, the weather in Los Angeles? It's a bit like the old country today. Home from home for me. I know. It's perfect. Do you still you still live in Glasgow? I don't still you? live in Glasgow. Right? How is that? It's good. Yeah. Aye. It's fine. Do you have to commute a lot to work in America? Do you find yourself on airplanes all the time? I travel a lot, but I mean, most of the time, I mean, I, I don't come back and forward. I don't do like a kind of monthly thing or anything like that, you know. So when I'm here, I'm here for a while. And I'm in Canada at the moment, in actual fact. In Canada's very, uh, can be very like Scotland, in yes, a way. Well, the West Coast up there, it's very like, British Columbia is very like the West Coast of Scotland. Yeah, it's very beautiful and wet. Wet, but slightly better weather. <laughs> wet again. I know, yeah, it's exactly, all about, but it's exactly. very good for your skin, Robert. Uh, <laughs> And also, the Canadians are very friendly with their odd bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that either, actually. What's the score of well, bacon? They do, no, no, they do have, they have quite odd bacon, don't they? But, they you, but don't you think that Canadian and American bacon's kind of weird? I, I, I wouldn't hear a word against American bacon, Please Robert. Don't. I live here. Oh. You know, I, I can't be talking about I'll the bacon. Slag it off. All right, then. Yeah, yeah. If you get something yeah. to say about American bacon. But, but remember Oprah. <laughs> Oprah said something bad about meat and got in trouble. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a bit of Ayrshire bacon any day. Ayrshire week. bacon? Indeed, sir. That's, Ayrshire is, uh, is an area of Scotland. It is indeed. Which I'm very familiar with. You should be. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Are your family uh, back in Scotland? Are you married are, kids and stuff? Yeah, I've got three children. What uh, age are you my kids? Wife. My kids are three, five and seven. That's very regular of you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Were you, were you working on a series at the time or something? <laughs> it's called the Rhythm Method, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it's, it certainly worked out. One now, what, what, what flavour have you got? Two boys and a girl, two girls and a boy, what you got? I have a girl and two boys. All right. Oh, so, so the girl's the oldest. And, the, and do they travel with you? They come, they come. They don't, uh, they're still a wee bit too young. And they, they, I don't, when they were very young, it was easy. Right, you know that's what I mean? Because right. they that with sleep the whole time, you know? Right. But now it's getting a wee bit more awkward, you know? But they're, they're with me as, as much as, uh, as I can have them. Do you get terribly homesick? I, when, I, I was serious today, when I saw the rain and the crows pecking at a piece of roadkill, I did make me a bit homesick <laughs> myself. You fancy me about a square slice or something? I did, like I did. I was like, oh, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't mind going back for a little while. Yeah, do you, you, I mean, do you get terribly homesick when you're away? You know, actually, it's, I, I'm getting to feel that now. I've been in Vancouver since January. Right. So I've not been home for a while, so I'm beginning to feel that I really wait, want wait, to wait, sleep. Wait, 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 January? Oh, year? Aye. 
Aye, long boy. time. So really, I want to go home now, but that's only because I'm coming towards the end of the shoot. Yeah. You know what I mean? It would be okay. You've developed, if you don't mind me saying, a very strong Canadian accent. <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. So, uh, I really seem to have... I'm like, oh, yeah. well, I'm sorry, what was Jeez, I? Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's, a, that's a long time to be away. What do you do it's, to fill your time? If the kids are there, do you, do you ski? Do you, I'm do always skiing. You'll always find me on the slopes. Really? Do you? No, do you? I don't ski. I'm What's wrong with that? Life. Canadians love skiing. Glasgow, man. We don't get a lot of skiing in Glasgow. Yeah, but you're not in Glasgow when you're in Vancouver. You might be able to <laughs> no, do something different. It just doesn't seem the right thing to do. No, I've been invited to go skiing, but I just, I'm not having it. Well, I understand. It's the fun doing it. Like. See, you've remained true to your roots. I was invited to go skiing and I went. Ooh. I know. <laughs> See, you can never go back to Glasgow now, you're none. What, now that I've been skiing? Aye. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's all right. <laughs> it's not, really? It's a very harsh place, very unforgiving. Stuff like that. <laughs> Aye, he's been skiing. Been skiing. I, I no could, more. He said he hadn't, but I could see the flakes on his jersey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's I... It's the funny jumpers as well, you see. It's not good. Well, Canadians wear those jumpers. Well, they do as well. Yeah, they wear the, the sweaters with a... The, it's their Christmas sweater every day in Canada. <laughs> What about the, the show, the sci-fi show? What's that about? The, uh... I forgot about that's why I'm here, isn't yeah, it? No, that's why uh, <laughs> um, Yes, it's called Stargate Universe. It is, um, I think it's good. I think it's good, yeah, in yeah, actual yeah. fact. It's about a group of people who are essentially marooned in space. Right. Uh, billions of light years from home with no real chance of ever coming back. It's very like this show, actually. <laughs> <laughs> It feels like that in here. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's cold and it's damp and unforgiving. <laughs> and it's in a space where no one seems to be. <laughs> <laughs> However, it is lovely to see you again. You Let's too, not man. make it be 20 years next no, time. Next time Robert Carlyle, everybody, we'll be right back.